Okay, this how-to video is going to follow one of the P-SPICE examples that can be found in the Analog Design and Simulation Using AUKAD Capture and P-SPICE, a book that was written by Dennis Fitzpatrick. Uh, Dennis is uh, an ex-Cadence AE. So if we go to page 73, um, we're going to reuse the, the, the notch filter that we designed in, uh, in one of the previous exercises on page 52. Um, so you can watch that video if, to see how to draw this circuit. But what, instead of using the resistor values, what we're going to do is we're going to set a parameter. So we'll start off, we'll just adjust these values. So instead of using an actual value, we're going to just set it as a variable called our value. These variables are contained within curly brackets. So we need to make sure that we do that. And then we need to add a parameter symbol effectively to drive what this, this R value is. So if we use the, the place part component, um, we need to add the special library. Now the special library is available inside the PSPICE menu, the PSPICE library location, sorry. Um, there's a special library, so we'll add that. And then in there, there's a, there's a symbol called param. So we'll double click to add that. Okay, what we need to do is, is modify that and set the R value as a parameter. So let's double click on the parameter. We will do a, a new property called R value. Uh, and currently we'll, what we'll do is we'll set this to 75 uh, to 27k. So if there isn't anything in the in a sweep, if there's no parametric sweep, but basically it will use a default value of 27k. Um, and then we'll also locate that value or that property and then we'll use the display command to actually display both the name and value so we can see that on the schematic sheet. And there you go. <clears throat> okay, so we'll then set up a new simulation profile. We'll call it AC sweep. And then we'll adjust the, the analysis type to be an AC sweep. Um, on the general settings, we're going to start at 10. Um, we'll end at 10k and we'll uh, do 100 points. Um, we'll apply that, but we won't close this. And then we'll also set up a parametric sweep at the same time. It's going to use a global parameter. The parameter name is our value. And then here we can specify the different values that we have. So we want to start at, say, 24k. We want to go up to 30k incrementing every k. Once that's done we need a marker so we'll use PSPICE uh, markers advanced and we'll do a dB magnitude of voltage on the output. Once that's there we'll then run the simulation. We'll just accept that we want to see all of them. <clears throat> so the notch filter response is shown here you can see that the notch frequency changes with a change in resistance R value. However, the attenuation depth of the notch, also known as the Q of the filter, also changes with the frequency. <laughs> 